Hello YouTube and Facebook people, welcome back to my videos. Today is Vlogmas Day 16, that is 16 days in a row. Today's video, we're gonna do my top 10 sales of jeans on Poshmark. These will be the jeans that sold for the most amount of money for me. It's a wide variety. Um, we will start with the least of the best and work our way up to what sold for the most. I have my computer and my notes over here, so don't mind me if I'm looking over there. I will also pop up a photo, that way y'all can see what I'm looking at. I'll also go ahead and read you guys the titles of my listings, that way it's a little bit of a twofer. You get to see what's selling for me, and also maybe you get some ideas for titles for your own listings. Number 10. These are Brandy Melville John Galt Buttonfly Mom Jeans. These ones I picked up at the bins. They were about $1.50 there. Um, my bins are $1.29 a pound. But these ones sold on Poshmark for $30. I did offer discounted shipping. Poshmark gave me $22.80. And like I said, they cost $1.50. So that gave me $20.70. Number 9 are these Levi's 501 Vintage Mom Jeans. These ones I paid 86 cents for. They sold for $30, no discounted shipping. Poshmark gave me $24, so I ended up with $23.14. Number eight, this is a Tommy Hilfiger vintage denim overalls, large logo. Um, these ones I picked up at a garage sale. They had so many jeans, like tables and tables of jeans, but a lot of them were messed up. But I was lucky enough to find these ones and they were in really good condition. These ones I paid 25 cents for and they sold for $30. Um, I received $24. After fees, I got $23.75. Number seven are these True Religion Patch Distressed Boot Cut Jeans. These ones I did purchase at New Horizons, aka my honey hole, and I did pay up a little bit. Um, they were $7.99, which is paying up for me. I am extremely cheap and I prefer to shop at the bins, but I found these ones at New Horizon and I picked them up. They sold for $32 with a shipping discount, so that left me with $24.10. After fees, I only walked away with $16.11. And as you can see, I'm not going in order this time of profit. I'm going in order of what they sold for because everybody's picking these up for different prices. So if you see something like these new religion jeans at the bins, yeah, pick them up because you're going to make a killing on them. Me, I might have paid up just a little bit too much for them for my comfort, but live and learn. <laughs> Number six, these are the Mother the Rascal Slit Step jean. Um, these ones sold for $39. Poshmark gave me $31.20. I paid $5.99 for these at New Horizons, so that left me with $25.21. Number five are these vintage Levi mom jeans, high rise, long inseam, and the inseam on these were really long. It measured 35 inches, or maybe that's just long to me because I'm really short, but I think that's what helped sell them and sell them for more money. These ones sold for $40, Poshmark gave me 32, and I paid $1 for these at a garage sale, so that left me with $31. The vintage Levi 501 mom jeans are my personal favorite jean to pick up. They are a fast flip. They sell for decent money. Um, what you're looking for is the 501 and you want a tapered leg, light wash, button fly, and they'll typically be high rise. Number four is the Mother the Looker Crop gray jean. Um, this one I picked up at New Horizons for $4.99. It sold for $40 with discounted shipping, so Poshmark gave me $30.20. That left me with $25.21. Mother is also another brand that is a fast flip for me. Number three is the AG Adriana Goldschmied Jeans Tomboy Boyfriend Fit. Um, these ones I'm surprised sold for as much as they did. For me, I have AG Jeans sit in my closet for a while. So I was kind of second guessing myself on the price, but these ones did sell for full asking price of $50. Um, Poshmark gave me 40 and I paid $1.50 at the bins, which is awesome. So after fees, that left me with $38.50. But yeah, I think AG jeans is just hit or miss. It's just waiting for the right buyer to come along that wants to spend the money on them. I think the brand is worth it. It's just finding the right buyer. Number two are these Seven for All Mankind Dojo Wide Leg Dark Wash Jeans, size 29. 
This is the style that you'll hear a lot of resellers here on YouTube talk about. I mean, they sold for good money for me, so I would say go ahead and pick them up. I wouldn't pick up all seven for All Mankind jeans. I don't think all of them sell for equal, but you are looking for the dojo. It'll have the style name inside of the jean. Um, they sold for $50, and that gave me $40. I paid $7.99 for these at a regular Goodwill, and that left me with $32.01. And lastly, number one on my list are these Citizens of Humanity Agnes Mid-Rise Slim Straight. And these ones sold for a full asking price of $50, so Poshmark gave me $40. I paid $6.99 for these at New Horizons, and that left me with $33.01. Um, again, I was kind of shocked that these sold for as much as they did. Citizen of Humanity is just another brand that sits in my closet for a while, but you're just waiting for the right person looking for this brand, this style, this specific size, and then, as you can see, $50 sale. I don't pick up all Citizens of Humanity. Um, if I do pick it up at a regular thrift store, I would definitely pay a lot less than $6.99 like I did for this pair, and it would probably be a dark wash skinny jean. I think even at the bins, I would probably still be a little bit picky and look for the skinny jean. But that's just me. I don't want to be sitting on inventory for too long. These ones I did sit on for quite a while. I'm happy they sold. I'm happy they sold for a full asking price of $50. That's always nice. But Citizens of Humanity is not a brand that I pick up on a regular basis. So those are my top 10 sales of jeans on Poshmark. I've been doing this for about a year and a half. And I would say as far as brand goes, my favorite ones to sell are mother jeans. As far as style goes, I think distressed jeans do pretty good and obviously everybody loves a good skinny jean. That's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. As usual, I will have my Poshmark closet linked down below. It's at Velamil. Also linked down below is my Instagram. It's my personal page. It's a little bit of everything for everyone. Also linked down below are my bestest reselling YouTube, eBay, internet -y friends. There is Lynn at Here's Lynn, Kimmy at One Thread at a Time, Candice at Your Best You, Kaya at Kaya EV, and Allison at Thrifted Flipper. Also, also linked down below are other YouTubers I enjoy binge watching. There is Josh at Lotta Josh. Also down there are the automotive YouTubers that I enjoy watching, so go check everyone out. I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 17. Bye.